All right, here we go. Next up in Cincinnati. Going to go find out if we got ourselves a good one. It's a numbers game, people. Remember that. It's a numbers game. The more you see, the more you buy. You can't buy everything, but you'll buy something. Come on. I cut you out again. Okay. Unknown real estate lady. All right. Smells different. All right. Send your son upstairs. Because <laughs> that's too scary. The smell is different. I like that. Newer windows, you know, old sets that are probably 20. Seems looking good. So far, so good. Disrepair. All right. We're also going to need. No, we already did. They put vinyls in here already, too. But we're going to need a new bath enclosure. Uh, just a new bath. Just call it a new bath. And what do we have in the sink? That's not coming off the ceiling, hopefully. No, it is not. We're going to have to work out our registers. Um, looks like our heat and cooling is coming from the ceiling. We'll go upstairs in a minute. This is, let's take a look at our kitchen here. See what we're dealing with as far as, well, actually, this is very manageable. I think what first thing you need to do is move a wall or two. We're going to have to update a couple of appliances. Again, new registers. A couple of new appliances. Countertops are fine. I think you could probably refinish the, the cabinets. Maybe, maybe not. I'll get the contractor's opinion on that. But the top ones are fine. But can you ever refinish or replace the lower ones without completely replacing the top ones too? I don't think so. Home Depot specials. All right, so all of your stuff over here is missing, and that's fine, because this is just your exit. All right, let's go upstairs. Brooke, I'm sorry, unnamed real estate agent. And eventually, I'm going to go downstairs, because I'm going to need to look at, oh, Lord. Yeah, these, this is not code. In case anybody wants to know what code enforcement is all about, it's when people build stairs like this, can't do this, but they did and finished it out. So, is it technically a bedroom? No, everybody, it is not a bedroom. Although, they've got some classic cartoonists working in here. <laughs> Very interesting. Finish this out. And. Oh, look at that. The unnamed real estate agent saved me a trip down into the basement by making me come upstairs to where I figured out, which is something you'll see every now and then, folks. Furnace is stored upstairs. Not super common, but not super uncommon as well. Furnace is looks good. Water heater is good. I mean, I assume, I'm assuming it works, but we can find that out. But I can tell by looking at it. I'm that's not, that's not common? I mean, that's not uncommon? It's not super uncommon, but you know, you don't see them upstairs as much as you do see them in the basements. I, this is more something that personally I see on the West Coast, um, but uh, most of the stuff out here, Midwest, East Coast, you'll see these in the basements. Yeah. West Coast, we don't have basements. So. I oh, know, I've seen them outside on the West Coast. Yeah, well, your furnaces, your furnaces and stuff will have to be kept inside your air conditioning units and put those outside the condensers. These bad boys need to be sealed and, and taken care of. My question is, this vent is a little bit oversized and going out the wall, but this is a nice setup. You can also hide, uh, you can hide bodies back in here. There's little niches. There's probably gold and silver and all kinds of stuff. And Jimmy Hoffa too. So, you got that going for you. But, another real estate lesson for today. Let's quiz our we won't use this on the thing. We, or maybe we will. <laughs> Brooke, tell the whole world why this is not a bedroom. Well, this is not a bedroom because most likely you cannot get out of that window. You need a closet and a door. You need a separate door, which that one down the bottom of the stairs doesn't really count. And the key being your ingress, egress points, which this would not really technically qualify being on the second floor. And most importantly, universal code says that you must have 
a closet. Believe it or not, folks, that's the number one qualifying thing. They want you to have a closet to count something as a bedroom. Ingress, egress is important, separate doors are important as well. Closets, no closets. You want to call that a closet? No, you can't. So, not technically a bedroom, but as far as rental value, sure. As far as rental value, you're gonna to want a good insurance company because you will get sued when someone falls down these stairs. <laughs> that is guaranteed. That is guaranteed. What do we have in here? Is that a vent, you think? I thought it was, but for some reason it's got like a bubble cap. So this obviously it's a hole, but what was it for is my question. And I mean, the furnace is upstairs, so everything's Look going at this. down. So I don't know what that could possibly be. This is these old, old school vinyls. With the key lock. Here's my guy, as a matter of fact. Total tear, total, what do you think, total tear out? Because the bottom ones are so bad. The top ones goes, the lower ones goes. Yeah, but can, we, you can, stay. But can we match these? That's the, that's why was my question. There's, we're tear these out, because these are Home Depot specials, yeah. I'm thinking. We're still, we're, you're still gonna find something similar. Okay, something that'll match yeah. up. Fairly unfinished, unfinished wood, and yeah. we can still stain it, but it's gonna match. Awesome, because these have gotta go. This is, there's, I don't think there's any working on these. Yeah, you're Unless you think you can perform a miracle. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, Gavin. It's been the like eight hundred bucks by of labor and stuff. It's not worth it. No, I agree. Yeah. Um, obviously, the floors are whatever they are. Just take these off. Mm -hmm. You put them right over the top. Mm -hmm. so. You think you just go right over the top of these? Either way, it's in good condition. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. It's seven out of ten. Okay, good. I'll take a seven. Definitely. Here's my, here's a question for you. Look at this. Yeah. I already went up. Obviously not the code, so. It's not up to code, then we're not doing a full remodel, so we're not gonna be using any permits by the city. So nope. as is. As is, but can we can we do something to it to make it such it's a It's not gonna be less... uh, fixable. I didn't because we've, either. we've been through a lot of those and there wasn't any condition of changing them, just leaving them the same. Look how wide it is. Exactly. You have to walk up sideways. It's not even architect or engineer made. No, it's not. Exactly. I don't want, that's why I was thinking so I don't want to mess with gonna, it. If you're going to try to work smarter than the engineer or the architect that made it, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. I'll be honest with Rarely. You. We've dealt with those situations before. Oh but upstairs it looks clean. It's uh, it looks clean. Looks yeah. like they got the, the furnace. It looks the furnace, the water heater, they look good. good. Hot water heater looks yeah. good. What'd you see? I'm just checking, you know, a couple of leaks, moldings, all that stuff. That's that's really the main stuff that makes us worry. Worry, yeah. 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 Especially when it's investments. Attic no signs of insulation, no. No termites, no bugs, no nothing. Okay. So we're good over here. We're good over here. Flooring's here is good. No slats. No slopes. Just the stairs. Yeah. It's, it's annoying, especially Go if you're be like an old lady or yep. you know. What do you think? You're going cash? What's that? Going cash? Sure, why not? Well, it just works. Anyway, because I'm looking at... No. It's an eye person. The lot size is good. You got a, a garage, which is, you can need a garage or whatever you can. Especially. Can we do an ADU out here? You know what? You can do... Will they let us, will they, will they let us convert this to, a, to another dwelling unit? That could be, but cost versus but it's retail. Not, it's not. It's not going to be. No, you never get plumbing in here. No. no, you can't get plumbing, and you can't get electricity and everything. We got already drains here for your food. Yeah. Well, the so, the drain cap is on there, but I don't see anything going to it. Yeah. There's no. There's no. I mean, the drain line is there, but this is 
This is Th that doesn't have nobody's nobody roughed the. They were trying to. They didn't rough the plumbing yeah. in. I don't, don't know. Actually, the garage stays the same. Unless you want to spend money, but 130 for the house. I don't want to spend it's money. I don't care about spending money. I want the return. The return. We want the return. If it's 50,000 or it's 5,000, we don't really care. What we care about is that return. If we're going to get money out of it, I'll spend all the money in the world. If we're not so going to get money out of it, I will give you 10 bucks. You would have paid 50 grand for that house, which, right. is, which is a lot of money still. 2021, 20? Yeah. 50 grand is, is way too much for that house. Welcome okay. to COVID. Yeah, but <laughs> with the market right now, 130, if you're even closer, 95, 100, 130 is a lot. Well, it's do. not It's not like the end of the world. You're still going to make money out of it, and the tenant is going to move in and everything, and your money is going to be roaming, but it's not going to be the big gap for the investment. I want no huge gaps for investment. No the area I want a ton of money. money. I want I so know. much money that it makes me stay awake at night thinking, what do I do with this money? Hey, everybody. Remember, real estate is a contact sport. Perfect example, my guy Tarek, who I met in Cincinnati. First day I was in Cincinnati, wasting a bunch of time, as it turned out, with a real estate agent. Tarek shows up as to look at a property for us. Turns out he's an investor as well. He knows the price ratios are completely out of whack. Probably saved us thousands of dollars just by having somebody else and a third voice in there. Great guy, and it goes to show you need to know people. You need to make contacts. You need to network. How many thousands of dollars did we save? Got into another project just from talking to him for a while as well that may make tens of thousands. It's all about who you talk to. Keep making contacts. It is a contact sport. You don't know who is going to bring you a great deal. Do you ever see the movie Blow? No, I've, I've seen the reality. Where they haven't because I've, I've, I've been doing it here in Cincinnati. This is my third year. So we bought five grand houses on full closure and we spent like 50, 60K on it and we sold it with 150K on profit. So I've seen it all. Westchester Mason, where I told you I'm at, at that area, the house is 200,000, today 600. And some of those houses I can drive you by and you can see the listings on them and the history is always online. Yeah, and you're gonna be shocked. You're gonna be shocked. So I've, I've seen it. I started doing it exterior doors when I came to Cincinnati and uh, windows. Doors and windows? Yeah, this is what I did. So I, I went to houses that we bought from full closure and uh, the sheriff's auction. Yeah. Trust me, you're not getting in, inside except you. For demolition. Oh yeah, no. I've, so I've, I've, I've seen the cheap ones and how we rehab them and how we sold them for top dollar. I've seen it all in the in less than three years. So that's why I'm telling you, 130 for the market. Yeah, I know that's the price. Foundation is good. The yeah. condition without leaking. That everything it's it's not bad. The roof and the shingles it looks new. Try to close it on less than 130. Extra money is good for you. And yes, it's a rental property. It's gonna make money, but it's not gonna make the big money that you're gonna be waking up. Hey, I'm gonna make the same money on another property tomorrow. That one you might make some money on it, but not the big bucks you want. I like it. I'm I'm honest like it. Desert Cat, that's the thing. That's the thing is, I, I'll work with, uh, I'll work with with you and and Brooke Finder because well, you know what is the the ultimate d deal is what's the resale value? Because even though we're not going to resale, we need that value to when we come in, we have to pull that money exactly. back out to to flip. The You're money. not gonna lose money now on we're that. We're not gonna lose money. No, we're not gonna lose money. The market is not gonna crash tomorrow. No. It's not going to, we're not going to lose money. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. I want to make sure that my end value allows me to get all of our money back out of this and to turn that money to keep going back again. Like I said, I don't mind spending a lot of money or what some people consider a lot of money. I don't care because if we're getting the money back, what's the difference? If it's a good deal in real estate, it's a good deal. You, there's always money to do the deal. If it's not a good deal, there is not money to do this exactly. deal. This is why. It's why it works that way. So I don't mind spending. As long as I can see see myself as an exit strategy. That's in Norwood. That's like 10 minutes from here. All right. That was a full rehab. Three bedroom, two bathroom, kitchen, and everything. We got that one for 90K. It was in the same condition. We spend on it 55. And it's rented right now for 17.5. Ready for 17.5? You were ever pull everything back out? No, we just, yeah, everything was off. Even the driveway, we got out. No, 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 we were going to pull your money back out. Oh, yeah, yeah, your money. yeah. That's the thing. That's the thing. What do you think? What, I mean, obviously, we haven't spent a lot of time. It's a ballpark, the ballpark cost on the rehab in here. Full demo for I'm not going to hold your feet to the fire. I'm just, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, your, yeah. your, your, your bathroom's got to go. 
Oh, that's for sure. Yeah, that's one. You're, you're losing your kitchen. You're losing your kitchen bottom cabinets at least. Labor and material, or just labor. No labor and material. I don't do half bids because I'm not doing any of this crap. You're gonna, be, you're gonna be. You're gonna be the average between. And then Mo's gonna call you back. He's gonna beat you up on the price. Whatever you say. 50. He's 55 to 50. You know Mo's gonna call you back. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Right? He's gonna come for that. He's gonna come back and say do it for 25. <laughs> <laughs> if he's rolling, you're rolling. I'm rolling. Exactly. It's, it's a win-win situation. It's a win. Yeah. That's the thing. I'm, I'm never greedy with my clients because the much you grow, I'm growing too. I was in that position three years ago. Simple as that. We just need more teams around the United States and the stuff up. So that's, we ended up in Cincinnati with Mo's team on the on the ground. Said, okay, go meet everybody. He, he, when he came, the last visit, I told him, Mo, this property is going to be worth this. This is going to be worth this. Call him right now and put him on the phone. Everything is true. No, he said, he said, I had, my team. I, had, I, said, I'll go I, have lunch with I was blessed out. of having a very, very good and one of the geniuses in flipping houses as a mentor when I came here. Oh, that's nice. I observed a lot. My father is one of the top realtors in Egypt for like more than 35 years. So I didn't go far from a family owned business. <laughs> I'll be you honest. Just took it to a different and I've been doing remodeling and interior design for the past 14 years. So it's different between there and there, but in the end, money-wise, we're all into it. Yeah, no, we know how it works. It's a matter of finding It's a matter of finding the deals. 110 maximum is good. I'll give them 110. Brooke, take care of that.